Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem four in chapter five. In this one, we can see we have a slope, right? This triangle, and then we need to find the angle theta to make sure the object can park the car can park on it stationary. So if the car can park on it, that means the car is stationary. So the force is balanced. So let's do the force analysis. So first of all, we consider gravity and then normal force and then the fraction to keep it balanced. So in this one, we have say we have three forces and then we need to project the gravity in x component and the y component. Do you agree? Because there we consider along the slope is x component, vertical to the slope is y. So if you do that, if I in the project in s component mg sine theta, project in y component mg cosine theta. And then we talked about how to do this projection, you know, projection um, on the this slope. And then we talked about that this angle is just a theta. And then if you don't understand this part, you can check my previous videos in chapter 4. Now the next thing we need to write equations. Uh, by using Newton's second law, because in this case, this car is stationary, so the acceleration is zero. Is zero. So we can write the net force in y component is f minus mg cosine theta equals zero, and then in the x component is mg sine theta minus the fraction equals zero. The next one we consider the fraction, because the car is parked there, this is the static fraction, right? So we consider the static fraction is the uh, static fraction coefficient times the normal force. In this one, we input the equation fraction inside, and we find we have this equation there. Therefore, very easily we find the mu s just equal to tangent theta. And then we input the known quantities. We can get this angle theta very easily, 42 degree. Thank you.